Okay, then, my good friends of YouTube. <clears throat> Hope you're all well. Right, um, this is a DC DC converter. It's basically a pulse um, circuit to charge capacitors up. And uh, it's just something I've just put together now. Uh, you've got uh, a nice inductor there with about uh, 50 windings. Um, probably a bit more, actually. I think it's about 60 windings on this one. And uh, it's quite a straightforward little circuit. You've got your MOSFET there, which is an IRFP260N, which is a bit over TT for this circuit. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. So, of course, you've got your inductor, which, of course, is uh, on one lead. You've got the positive just there. And then from the positive, it goes all the way through the inductor into the middle of the drain there of the MOSFET. And from the MOSFET, you've got a diode, which is uh, the negative side of the diode, into the positive, which the positive comes out and goes to the capacitor, which is a RIF capacitor, 4700 UF at 350 volts DC. And then, of course, the, uh, the source which is the positive input there, uh, the negative input there. And then from the negative, uh, you've got another negative which goes to the capacitor. And then, of course, you've got your drain, which is the ground, uh, sorry, the gate, which, of course, is the ground output from this 55 timer. Now, of course, the 55 timer is the voltage uh, the power input to the circuit as well uh, of course it powers the the 55 timer and if you have a good look at it just there that's right that's my lightning detector we've got some good weather coming over so i should have put me uh, light on actually for you but uh basically straight it so what how this works is basically Whenever uh, power is put energized into a transformer, and as soon as the transformer is turned off, you get like a wave of uh, voltage, which of course the the magnetic field of the transformer collapses. And when this collapses, it causes a uh, surge through the windings, uh, of course. And that's basically what happens with this. This is based. The MOSFET is basically switching so fast, it's energizing this. The electric field is collapsing, causing the power, which of course charges this capacitor up. Now, I have just charged this up to 111 volts. Of course, I've got my meter here, which is still showing 2.2 volts. You can see the the capacitor wave also is putting up a voltage because whenever these charge up, of course, I'm just explaining this. Whenever a capacitor charges up, it charges up the windings. And of course, uh, the windings of foil and insulation. And of course, once this energizes, you get a wave of basically going like that over the capacitor. And this will empty itself and then go back and continuously do that. And that's why this is slowly starting to charge itself back up. That's why you should always be careful with high voltage capacitors like, you know, KV when you start getting into the KV. So, let me just quickly show you this, how this works, and I'm telling you now, it's evil. If I charge this up, this goes up to 350 volts DC. If I charge this up and touch that, I'm going to blow one of my fingers off. It's not going to be very pleasant, put it that way. Yes, I'm doing this on my bed. My wife's out, staying out tonight with a friend, with my daughter, having a ladies night, and I am in my room playing with my stuff, watching films, nice little fan there going on the old PWM circuit, because it's quite warm tonight, and some radios lot, listening to the old bands, <laughs> yes, I love my stuff, and gadgets, right, so let's get this charged and show you guys, uh, da -da 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 -da. so yes, yeah, so you just watch that guys, I'm not going to charge it too much because my kids are in bed sleep and I've just freaking look at the state of my screwdriver. And I was just arcing this out. Let's drop the voltage down now. So here we go. So just touching it, 15 volts. Touch it again, 27 volts. That was literally touching it like that. That's how quickly this goes. 
I'll do a bit more for you. You know, and I'll show you. I'll put the blue LED into that because it was a stupid little green one. Got 37 volts. That's my screwdriver. You could actually just put a bleed resistor on this. See, look, even that energised me ood lightning detector. How awesome is that? <laughs> God, to tell you something, when I charged up to 100, even 111 volts, this thing was huge. A good bang! <laughs> saying it is. Come on, focus in your stupid phone. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. <clears throat> so, yeah guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Very easy circuit. Of course, you can use transformers. Um, you know, the wind is on transformers. You could even use these old uh, transformers like this old, out of old circuits and old boards and that that you can find. You could even try, you could even use an old inductor like that. You can use anything, make your own anything. Of course, the the smaller the windings, it won't charge as quick, but of course, more, the more windings, the more of collapse of field you get. Hello, anybody there? <laughs> so, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves, be safe, whatever you're doing. And, uh... We will see again, see each other again. Take care, guys. Oh my God, one point two volts. <laughs>